Hi class, for module seven, you are going to be completing a pe practice peer review. You're giving feedback to a sample paper, um, and we're gonna be doing that in Turnitin instead of in the Angel Classroom. So I wanted to walk you through the assignment um, and point out just how to navigate some of that Turnitin stuff. So on our module seven list of activities, if I click on M7 discussion practice peer review, uh, a couple of things. Make sure you read through this as always, but there is a link here that says examples of good and bad peer reviews. It works best if you double click on that and then it will open um, in a new window or a new tab depending on your browser. Um, this gives you examples of the kinds of feedback that are really useful, followed by examples of feedback that is less useful. You get 40 points for this assignment, so make sure you take a look at this ahead of time so that you're getting all of those points. Additionally, this link, a need for a nightlife social event at MCC, is the sample paper you're going to be reviewing. That paper is in Turnitin, but if you wanted to look at it ahead of time, it's here. Um, finally, uh, the Turnitin assignment will give you a series of questions to answer in response to this paper. And this sample paper needs revision in all areas. There is never a time when you're going to be replying that the paper looks good and needs no revision or that a particular section has been done really well. This is a draft of a paper. It's not done yet. So make sure you're giving everything uh, the attention that it needs and you're explaining the why and the how things need to be revised. Okay, so this is here. Uh, you probably will not see the new post button. Um, I will try to turn that off. It never turns off in instructor mode. So. Um, just a heads up, that probably won't even be there. When you get to the M7 assignment link, you should not be posting anything in here. All of your work is being done in Turnitin. Okay. Um, there's also a little guide down here um, about how to use the peer mark tool, but really if you're watching this video, you probably won't even need to navigate all of this. So in a different tab, I have gotten the Turnitin website and I'm going to log in as a student. Okay. Here's our class. All right. Um, there are three assignments available. This first one, M3 Treasure Hunt for Sources, has a submit button. Don't do that. We did not turn that in through Turnitin. Practice peer review. Again, you're not doing that. That is where you would submit a paper if you were a student who was supposed to be writing a paper that then got reviewed by classmates. We want this guy, the little peer mark guy, and it says write reviews. So I'm going to click on write reviews, and it says a need for a nightlife social event at MCC. That is the one you want to click on. And it's going to load the tools. Here is the sample paper. And in each of these boxes, it's got a question that goes with it. It will not take your submission unless you have a minimum of 100 words answering the question within that box. So you're going to go through, you're going to read the paper, you're going to answer the questions on the side. Um, when you submit, you have to make it sure it goes all the way through. If you didn't put enough feedback in one of the boxes, it will tell you that it's in progress, it's not complete. Uh, but I, as the instructor, cannot see your work until it is complete and submitted. All right, uh, so just a heads up, you have to do the entire thing. If it gets partially completed, I can't give you partial credit because I can't see the work that you did. If you have any questions, let me know, as always. Um, and, you know, make sure you get comfortable with this. There are also ways to put, you know, comments in the text of the paper, things like that. Um, we're going to be doing peer mark again in a later module where you are giving feedback to each other. So this is practice. This is a time for you to really sort of figure everything out.